let's see what we got now. Now this is the cheapest transmitter the Jumpin currently makes. And it's got all of the features you could possibly want and a lot of much better shape than the original Jumper T-Lite. I have here the standard uh, JP4-in-1 model and also the 1W ERLS model with the built-in 1W ERLS uh, module. One small difference is that the ERLS version does come with an SD card and HDX built-in. And that's why this has voice packs and more model storage and everything. In the box you'll find quite a nice package with a really nice carrying case, gimbal protector and external module adapter that I did fit to my other version. The ELRS model does come with a uh, fitted SD card but this is probably quite crap and you should replace it fast. In the hand it feels quite good with this nice uh, two rubber grips. Uh, the gimbals are most likely the same gimbals as the, on the T-Lite but they got quite a nice long travel. But the, for me I think that they're, they're a bit, the sticks are a bit too high. You can adjust them but they don't go lower than this only if you Unscrew the bottom part and put like a M3 hex nut there. Or just use the FRI sticks with no uh, nut on the bottom so it's nice, nice, more familiar feel. It has the same really small screen as the T-Lite but this could also be considered an advantage because the, it keeps the radio more compact which is what you want from this form factor. The antenna only folds one way, and it's way too big for a 2.4 gig one. The menu layout is quite nice. You got everything you want, much more intuitive than on a T-Lite. Got a roller and everything. Buttons, it's a bit tricky. It has two three-position one, two momentary two-position, and it does have two pot pots with a very small center detent. Which is also new on this model. It has a boot button so you can e easily get on the boot rotor menu to flash your firmware. The two shoulder buttons can be used with a small script as a arm and disarm button so you both you press them both. I'll have it linked below. Also there is the six position switches can be used as two position Simple position or a six position long one. So, every way you prefer, but it does require some fiddling in the OpenTX menus. Removing the two rubber grips, you can see that it fits standard 18650 cells, which will last, last quite, quite a long time. Also, an interesting Thing on the ERLS version, it has this aluminum radiator here, and the standard 4-in-1 version just looks like it has like some plastic, probably needed for the 1 watt module. On the back, you do have some holes to adjust spring tension. But I think it's still going to be easier to just take the back cover off. It does have USB-C charging, trainer port, the small SD card, everything you really need. Now you can fit an external module with this huge T-shaped foldable antenna does kind of get in the way. I'll probably just remove this as I'm not using it. Internally, it looks quite okay. Quite, quite similar to the old T-Lite. I really don't like this really 
thin and really hard gimbal wires this th this might break in time it's nice that the, the vibration motor is now soldered nice uh, clickable wheel same MCU and most likely layout of the main board really nice soldering I don't see any kind of issues or residue Now the RF module, again there's no ratcheting on throttle, you cannot enable it, but the gimbals at least are full hole gimbals with the ball bearing with metal bearings. Now the actual interesting difference, this is the JP41 module and this is the ERS 1W module you can see it does have a quite a big hefty aluminum plate but still doesn't have any kind of fan for uh, for proper cooling I don't know if this can sustain one watt for long you can also see the boot button which you might need to press if a uh, Wi-Fi uh, firmware flashing has failed and it also have an uh, has an ward port probably for debug or from our flashing. Now here is the one watt ERS module. This is the most interesting part of it. it. Has a nice big beefy radiator, but the board seems glued in place. There's no screws or anything holding it. It just sticks there. Here you can see the ESP32 microcontroller. We have the LoRa transceiver and a 1 watt power amplifier. The other one has the standard 4-in-1 module that everybody knows about by now. Only has four connection for power and communication. Fits two 18650 cells, both plus on top. These rubber grips are quite a pain to put on. You might need to start from the front or the back. Yeah, something like that. But all in all, quite a good radio all you really need you can also you can even use this as your main radio I think that's all for now like and subscribe